I just personally feel that's how I personally feel. Like to this day, my boyfriend don't even know I'm transgender, and we've been dating for two years. What's up with y'all? What's up with y'all? Welcome back to Moxie Approved. Ever since the beginning of Joe Biden's administration, the transgender community been pretty much having a spotlight. In the mainstream, especially. Mostly that's because Joe Biden, when he got in the office, the first bill he signed was for the transgender community. What the federal government might be able to do to protect LGBTQ Americans, especially trans kids who are dealing with all these regressive state laws that are popping up right now. Uh, transgender kids is a really harder to think. What's going on in Florida is, as my mother would say, close to sinful. I mean, it's just terrible what they're doing. It's not like, you know, a kid wakes up one morning and says, you know, I decided I want to become a man or I want to become a woman or I want to change. I mean, what, what, what are they thinking about? They're human beings. They love, they have feelings, they have inclinations. What we talking about? What we talking about? There's one thing that I've been noticing. They've been pretty much jacking the style of the FBA community, uh, civil rights, some of our trigger words. They've been pretty much jacking it and taking it from us and using it as their own. But one thing that I learned about people that are demographic groups that are part of agendas being pushed, you'll always find one that's willing to tell the truth. I was listening to Tariq Nasheed's stream and there's pretty much a transgender cat fight on there, man. Listen to what happened. I lost my train of thought. I was gonna say something. We got a trans person on the phone. Maybe they can help me. I was saying something. I was, what was I saying? What's up? Um, what's your name? Beauty? Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Beauty, do you remember what I was saying? What was I just talking about? I lost my train of thought. I was talking about something and I went somewhere else. <laughs> what was I just talking about? I honestly have no idea. I was not really... Not paying attention. All right, so what's on your mind then? Um, I just wanted to say that I agree with what T.S. Giselle said. I think the misrepresentation that's happening right now is outrageous. Uh, these trans people that you're being, you know, that are being pushed onto everything uh, and that are trying to infiltrate every single aspect of modern life, they're not a representation for transsexuals, people who have gender dysphoria and just transition to blend in. Um, I think what the liberals, Democrats, whatever are doing, um, it's very dishonest because one thing that I keep hearing is uh, black trans women are the most oppressed uh, minority in this country. And the reason why I think it's dishonest is because they forget to say that the reason why they are targeted is because of racism. It's not because of transphobia. Um, I think that they're using. I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah. I think they're using black people again, as they always do, as um, a way to get votes. You know, because they're not. They don't have black people's interests. Uh, on their minds all they care about is furthering an agenda and right. i think a lot of people are waking up to what's happening i was born and raised in north africa i don't want to dox myself but i only moved here right. a couple years ago and i've been noticing everything that's going on and it's just not it's not right you know i think now, did you become transgender here because in north no. africa because i no i started yeah. when i was there so it was actually really? yeah it was diy um hormones over the counter all of that and as soon as i got the money i went to thailand got my surgeries um which is another reason why i think that a lot of the people who are now claiming the label trans um i would say maybe 95 percent of them are not even close to being trans they love saying things like oh trans genocide if you want to talk about genocide go to north africa or to the middle east where people get beaten up and killed on the streets just for being effeminate just for being a butch lesbian you know right all right well there it is there it is thank you so much i appreciate you Thing else let me get ts to kind of address that person and let's make it quick ts Giselle, real quick. But no TS, but wanna. 
No, I had to cut back because what we're not going to do is take my words and twist them. Also, what we're not going to do is act like there's an issue that the presence of trans people and gay people in American society that we're matriculating across all platforms. We're not going to criticize that because we're humans as well. When you guys speak about an agenda, there's no agenda. It's just that we're being more visible. The visibility of trans people um, is not a threat to American society at all. So we're not going to do that. Okay. Okay. All right. Period. All right. Well, there you go. All right. Now it's funny because that first caller is absolutely right. Absolutely right. They've been kind of dismissing the reasoning for some of these actions are happening is not that they're actually transgender is because they're black. I told y'all many times on this channel, uh, I've been seeing it around the world that they use us to sell American culture. And within that, they piggyback a lot of their purposes on us selling American culture. That's why I tell y'all, y'all don't know they need us more than we need them. That's the whole point I've been trying to make to y'all. Even look at this, look at that word woke that's been used. They didn't hijack the word woke. Listen to this guy, what he explains on CNN. Since you've been a part of this video this long, please do me one small favor and hit that like button. Turn the notification bell all the way up to all and apply pressure to that subscribe button. Yes, apply pressure to that subscribe button. First of all, that's not the definition of woke. Woke has been co-opted by a lot of white folk, a lot of conservatives, debased, and then used to mean anything. Exactly. It's used to mean anything that's that's not white, that's not straight, um, and oh. so so that's just not what it is. And you hear people talk about things like cultural Marxism. That's not the root of the word. In fact, the word started in 1920 for most of America, so that they understand it was about black folk talking to other black folks, saying "Stay woke" when you're in Mississippi or Alabama. Stay woke politically, stay woke philosophically. That is what the word means. Now to take it and make it mean something and debase it that it does not, and you saw her last night, she was stumbling across the definition. It means, it means uh, transgender uh, girls in a girl's bathroom. Is that what woke means? I mean, what, what does it mean to you, Nikki Haley? She can't define it, neither can Ron DeSantis. Most Republicans can't. I really hate the debate because it's anti-intellectual, but it's a part of their cultural war that they're trying to wage. You know what, I'm not even mad at that. Colonizers them, took that word and, and drove it into the ground. It's pretty much them became mad corny right now to use that word. They can have that word, woke. From now on, that's what woke mean. Like, you woke toward they hold transgender agenda. Uh, but I will say this. I want you to watch this next, this next vi video is very scary in my opinion. The mainstream media is not talking about it at all. This is something that's been happening a lot. This video went viral about a week ago. Check out what this transgender says. Okay, so I feel like as a trans woman, you shouldn't even tell a guy that you're transgender. I feel like it's not even their business to know that you're a trans or what's between your legs or what's your preference. I just personally feel, that's how I personally feel. Like to this day, my boyfriend don't even know I'm transgender and we've been dating for two years. And I don't think I'm ever gonna tell him. I don't even know how I will tell him, but I just personally feel like you should not tell a guy until you're ready to tell a guy. No matter if y'all talking seriously or if y'all just talking as friends. I'm just gonna tell y'all, y'all need to look at them hands and y'all need to look at them feet. I find it hard to believe, especially long term, that somebody could, could be with someone like this and not know that they're a transgender. I mean, that's just me. I think with that kind of mindset, it's gonna put a lot of transgenders at risk for something dangerous happening to them. And you know what they are gonna do? They gonna sit there and they gonna blame it on the fact that they're a transgender when, come on man, I think it's every person's right to know uh, someone that they wanna have sex with to know what they was born as. I, I, I don't know, I, that sounds crazy for someone, in my opinion, to keep that as a secret. And I think it's very dangerous and I don't think that's an example that needs to be set going forward. But I tell you what, there's one question I wanna ask, which is the main reason why I made this video. There's one question I wanna ask you. I already know the answer, but I wanna see if you know the answer. They're a small portion of this population, but they're fighting harder for them to have equality than almost any other group right now. And the question I wanna ask is why do you think that? Why do you think that the mainstream media for years, they just don't know, if, we don't know what to do about inequality. It's just how it is, it's just human nature that some people are gonna choose to treat other people bad. 
but they're fighting really hard for the transgender community. And, and I wanna know why you think, they have just now been admitting the inequalities between us and white folks. Ain't nothing really changing though. They just took away affirmative action. But with this group, they're fighting very, very hard. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Well anyways, you know how we like to end our videos over here at Moxie Approved, right? With that water. I'll see y'all here next time on Moxie Approved. The feet and the hands. And if that don't work, listen to the voice.